And who proved wrong all who scoffed at the idea that a young maiden could be one of the fiercest warriors this realm has ever known? Whoa! Spinarak in the house! Today I'm here with Petey, and today we're talking about Lady Sith and her new show. Is it gonna be a hit or is it gonna be a miss? What do you think about it? It's gonna be a hit! Ah. Jay, the, now this is what been struggling. The first three um, Thor, movies? Thor movies struggle because you picked, you may have picked the perfect Sif, the perfect Lady Sif. Now to, to let you know, Jane Foster in the comic book was um, the woman that that Thor struggled with, that constantly tested him, but he loved her no matter what. But of course, she was not worthy. And she exited in the same issue she was and exited. They introduced from the legend, from the Norse legend, Lady Sif. Lady Sif. And Jack Kirby introduced a slightly different design for Lady Sif, which was dark haired. Oh, uh, that's not dark haired? No, it was I think her hair wasn't dark in the in the myth. I think it was a lighter hair. I mean, but Thor's hair was, was red in the myth and yeah, Thor's hair is blonde. But Thor was very impressed <laughs> with the lady Sif that he he said when he first met you know she was just a, you know she was I guess she was just a kid and at this point when he meets her she's full grown warrior woman right and she comes and she like Thor gets a whole new dynamic when um, Sif is gone so he ha he has it's usually the first three is Thor Sif and Balder. And Boulder is not Thor's brother this, in the comics. He's Thor's best friend. Exactly. And they also have um, the Warriors Three. The Warriors Three, and then um, yeah, I think and then Loki's the pain in all of their side. He's not a part of the team. He's not a part not, of the team. But he's, he's ever present though. Oh yeah, very yeah. much so. He's so, a... but so in this dynamic, in the comic dynamic, Sif is like Thor is like speech leading them into Stanley's writing tons of dialogue, leading them to the past saying they can make it. Sif is like, I believe now because of you and Baldur's on the side. What were we, we were talking about? Your best friend being attracted to your girlfriend? Baldur is, has this struggle because he's attracted to um, Lady Sif and he's struggling with this. So it's an interesting dynamic of this love triangle where Baldur can never have a chance with Sif. But then at some point in the 70s, they, you know, they kind of got kind of weird and then in the 80s, Thor was struggling. Walt Simonson comes along, decides Sif is a warrior woman, and she will not be denied. And she goes, venturing off, and does much more dynamic stuff. But, you know, she's always been a favorite. And I think... But she's been treated badly in the movies. I don't think she's given yes. enough, lot, enough time. Um, the whole Jane Foster storyline versus the Jane Sif Foster story. has eclipsed Sif. As even Sif is just his um his, his fighting buddy. Yeah, and he's not seeing her, and we're looking at like, look at look at Sif, look at this. So you know, know, they always want something different than what they are. You know what I'm trying to say? It's, it's, it doesn't it, come. It, 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 it works. I am a big fan of Nelly Portman, but it's like he, Thor is Thor. Nelly who? Portman, oh. who played who played Jane Foster. Jane Foster. But then it's kind of hard to have um. This tiny little Jane Foster. Don't go there. And it's huge. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. But I am, I don't know how these TV shows going to work. They have a Loki one where he does a voiceover. It was it um, Tim Middleson? So for the new Marvel streaming channel, they're developing a series of Marvel shows. Thank right? you. And um, <laughs> one that everybody's been talking about a lot has been the Loki show. We don't know what it is going to actually look like, yes. what it's going to be, but there's, that's been considered like one of the gems of the channel. But he's supposedly only doing voiceover for that. So, so I don't know. Is but it, it could be, be interesting. Animated? Is it going to be an animated one? No, I don't think. I think they're going for the full. They're doing their. They're going to try to venture into live action. Right? Live action. So how is he going to only do voiceover unless he's what a captured genie? No, <laughs> well, he'd be telling to... tales of the Norse gods. And it's a possibility. Sort of things like that. But then if you have Sif, why can't the two shows be together? But no, I'm okay with Sif having her own show, so I don't have to necessarily watch a Loki show. I can just watch my Sif, Sif show. It'll be like. Look, so you have Seth, I, I, you have Scarlet Witch and Vision. This this channel is getting hotter by the, I mean, greater by the minute. Look, <laughs> so look, I have not, and I do not have enough information about this show to really give much. Neither I, but uh, Jamie King's Jamie Alexander has been 
they said that she's going to be in it. Our own woman, Jamie Alexander from Blind Spot and from the Thor movies, they're pulling her back. So if she, if if this is this is the this is the the, the photo back here of what the show is going to look like. No, this is from the the, the movies. The movies. All right. So then, and I didn't know that she was in the the what's the name, the Agents of Shield. Did she do a couple episodes? She did, yeah. She did that. You she didn't did. tell me. I didn't know you were a huge Sith fan. And uh, we we got to see the cast of the Blind Spot. They were in a restaurant in the city. I think it's called for. Uh, it's a good. I don't remember the name. I mean, it's better to just say it was off Houston Street, but it, and not say the exact restaurant. But they all hung out together. That's a good sign. So if we get a good cast around Lady Sif. We got another Blind Spot on our hands. Five or six seasons, and then all I have to do is add an Agent Carter show on there. We're sitting pretty, you guys, and that's not in any pun meant event at all. I, I, I'm I, enjoying I, this. Look, I'm not actually sure exactly how they're gonna go with this stuff. You know, I need... Kevin Feige is the one running the whole the whole um, Marvel streaming channel. Yes, and so they're being definitely uh, uh, aggressive in in trying to get some really good shows out there. You know, they want to be basically as good or even better than what Netflix has, you know, with their Marvel shows that they have there. And it's going to be a tough bar to reach unless they really, they're not putting the, 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 the A-level. No, they're doing the A-level. Um, they're not, doing the A-level. They're not doing the A-level. They're doing the A-level. The A-level. I, don't, I don't, I can't see what the story is, but I'm, I, I, I you know, I'm, I've been questionable uh, on the Marvel, well, you look, know. They're, they're doing the DC streaming. We've been watching DC streaming. And we're going to have a later review for you guys about that whole thing. But... I got to say, overall, I have not been as 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 supportive as I normally right. would have been. Let's be... You know, let, and, 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 and this is... And I'm taking... And that may be because they've taken a particular direction on their shows and the format they wait. Marvel, I am hoping they're more open and the shows are more and more engaging and entertaining than what we've seen so far for DC Universe. Okay. I'm going to do... I'm going to... I'm going to allow you to play devil's advocate. I'm going to work with you. To show you why a Loki show, um, a Scarlet Witch and Vision, and a Sif show isn't necessarily a good stuff idea. we can yes, well, no, you said as you said a good idea. No. Okay, so what's the first? I mean, does I say to you though, what what um does a, a Lady Sif show sound like it's going to be a good movie? No. Nope. Or let me get finish the okay. question. Lord, the only show I'm gonna probably watch is gonna be the um, the Winter Soldier show. Oh, it's Winter Soldier and the Falcon. And then the Falcon, yeah, those two. Okay, yeah. I'm not really sure about that. But I like them for the movies, but you know, the problem the others, is, is that Loki, I definitely would want to see, but I'm not exactly jumping out of my seat to see a Lady Sif show. Okay, so I'm gonna do using Marvel characters, use a simple switch from what they solicited or what they're saying is gonna come out to what they could do. Okay, let's Would hear. you let me finish what I have to say first? Would you watch a Lady Sif show or a Warriors Three show with Lady Sif? A Warriors Three show with Lady Sif. Now we can see we already see a cast and setup. I'm not sure if they're gonna put the Warriors Three in the show with them, but I think the Warriors Three is a, a simple. It name. makes sense. Yes, it's like that. And so then, this is a, this is just to show what Mar what Mario means and what he's doing. So we have. Uh oh, a wait, wait, what do you mean? What am I doing? What I mean, your angle on the show. Okay, yeah. So okay, so we have Scarlet Witch and Vision. No. What's that? What if instead of uh, which would you rather, Scarlet Witch and Vision, or Hank Pym and Wasp, a young show with some of the people from the Marvel Universe. Hank Pym and, and Wasp. Okay, so then the last question, no, the the, see, the idea, the, the Bucky and what's the name? The Bucky, I don't have a better, a better switch, but it's hard to say what you, what will do. I'll do, a, I'll do a simpler one because it's still related to Captain America. Okay. And the, you, this you can answer however you want. Got it. Would you rather watch a... Black Widow. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it. Would you rather watch I'll a... I'll watch a Black Widow show <laughs> in a minute. Would you watch a Hawkeye show? A Hawkeye show? Yes. Okay. I was going to go for someone who hasn't been introduced and say... Like who? A, um, Rick Jones in the Marvel Universe versus um, Winter Soldier and Bucky. And I think even that 
would be easy. But they at least have a, the Captain America movie where they show there's some sort of connection between the two of them. Not as great as Captain America and the Falcon. Or we haven't really seen, you know, we've seen Bucky. Bucky. We've seen Bucky and Captain America, but they're almost equal. So it's almost like Captain America and Nick Fury. So ultimately, Winter Soldier is more a Nick Fury character. And they could do stuff like that. They could, I mean, when he was introduced, I'm like, this is not really the Bucky Barnes. This is like Nick Fury. This is someone that Cap could idolize. Where Bucky was a uh, more his uh, a younger character that was smaller than him, mm -hmm. that could be a good fighter, but he wasn't gonna. He was gonna be, if anything, like five what five eleven something like that. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, God, five ten. He wasn't. What, what does that have to do with anything? Captain America is like six what five. Looks like six one or two to He's me. He's way bigger than me, so it's not about height. Uh, mm -hmm. Who says it's taking anything about height? <laughs> Jeez. Oh God! You know? So the same. I understand his dynamic, but I do like the talent that's involved. In, I don't. I do like. They are getting a for a a a I, top talent. I do like. Um, you know, Scott Alexander. Um, the the. I, think I mean, they're Bucky, people are, the guy who plays Bucky. Yeah. The guy who plays Falcon, Loki. You know, other than that, you know, who else? But that's the thing. We th this is their first stab at TV, and it's not something that seems easy. Like then the CW going for Arrow, and then going for the Flash, we could see some things that they were trying to do. And it's like, oh, okay, they played the fact that the Green Arrow is on the island. They didn't throw everything at out, even though we're drawing a lot from Batman. When there's a lot of already a lot of similarities with Batman, so it's not a stretch for them to use that format. So. You can see this, and that's what the harder thing I can get with what Mario's saying about is not really seen. But I take offense to that whole arrow of Batman thing. But continue. You, you know what it is. Everyone's already said it. We've said it too many times on the show. But we got, we got our Jamie Alexander. Yes. We got. Hey, you know I was what? like saying, Pl she's a great. This is gonna be our Zena, our Zena, Norse god Zena, without some of the the, the other stuff that you know. That's going on there. Sif is a, a thing is like, if someone's exploring all of the Norse areas that they've explored in the Marvel Universe, the Norns, uh, the everything Norns, you can go I to. I can't even pronounce all the names. Yeah, Hell, the Lust with Hellas, <laughs> and the Frost Giants, <laughs> the Elves, it's then so it would be off the chain. If they do, if the, if the show is exploring the nine, the, the nine realms, yes. that's going to be off the chain. If the show is just exploring her and Earth, like how they did it in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I'm not sure it's going to be that popular of a show. Of course, you got to keep a budget. These are TV shows relative to movies. But successful movie TV shows can get movie budgets. Mm -hmm. So we got to remember that in terms of like Game of Thrones and stuff. And I think what, and, and of course, you got the guys who've been doing these movies, they have crazy amount of uh, uh, um, data for them to make a decision on how to do it. But for me, I would be trying to do various types of shows. I would be doing a more leaning more horror show. I'll be doing a show that's more a romantic comedy. I'll be even doing a show that's straight, stru straight superhero shows, two or three of them. But I would try to different genres to try mm. to show superheroes in different lights and different ways. Well, if this is a superhero channel. 